Hello everyone. Uh, I was going to start showing the Broken Shore scenario here in the Legion beta, uh, but unfortunately that is bugged right now. Uh, hopefully after the weekend's over we'll be able to show that and I'll get that out to you. But for now we're going to jump right in uh, to the Warrior class. I'm going to do a video on each of the specs and do their artifact quest line and give you an idea of the different talents you'll be seeing the new abilities, the abilities that have been consolidated, and we'll also take a look at um, some other things to have to deal. Some of the new animations, especially for the warrior class, the animations are a lot different, uh, a lot better looking. So, uh, we just got to Dalaran. This is exactly the spot right here between these two guards, where you'll show up at the end of the quest line, and head right in here to turn in this quest in the blink of an eye. I'm not going to read this quest because I'm going to do it in my in my little walkthrough of the scenario. I'm going to talk to this Please gentleman, Emissary friend. Aldbridge. Turn this in, and you'll get your Dalaran Hearthstone. Uh, teleports the caster to Dalaran. It's kind of your new garrison Hearthstone. And you'll get five tomes of the Tranquil Mind. I don't know if that'll make it to live, but as of now, they're here. Uh, these are used to respec. These are used to respec out in the world. So these are going to be super useful. These aren't something you're going to want to sell. Go with honor, friend. Make sure we got those. Put our dollar first thing here. And as you can see, I don't have any quests. Take a look at the map. None. So, to get your artifact quest line started, start walking around Dalaran. I know it sounds a little stupid, but that's exactly what they want you to do. As you can see, it looks exactly the same as it did in the previous expansions. Little, little added flares here and there to the sky. Commander, I have a message for you. And there we go. Sergeant Dalton. Shows Light up. be with you. Champion, I bear an urgent message from Danith Trollbane. He requests that you join him across this his landing. He has an urgent mission that requires your expertise. For the Excellent, light. Commander. I Dan bear an important message from Danath Trollbane. And it's still buggy. So as you can see, he might say the same thing 55 times. But we're going to head up here and take a look at getting our artifact quest line started and before we do that though we'll take a look at the different skills and abilities and I'll show you the talent tree and we'll go through each of the talents look there upon that terrible sight how many disasters must we face before we can at last find peace and that's Danith just looks like a stormwind guard for now I'm not sure if that's his placeholder model or not I am relieved you survived the broken shore when so many brave heroes were lost. Donath hangs his head in a moment of silence. I've been recalled from Honor Hole to aid the Alliance in its darkest hour. It is crucial that we learn from our mistakes. Do you have time to speak? Sure. I, if I am to assist in this war, I need first-hand information. I will fly to the broken shore and see the battlefield for myself. Your record as a proven commander is unquestioned, and you were there. I could use your insight. Will you accompany me to the Broken Shore? I don't anticipate engaging the enemy. But that close to the fell storm, one can never be sure. Take down with spare mount to the Broken Shore and provide assistance. Uh, before I go any further here, I don't know the dialogue in some of these. Be very careful if you are worried about spoilers. I would avoid uh, any of these videos that I'm going to make because they may spoil the story for you. So if, if you're looking into that, um, I'll try and put in the description of the video a time that you can skip to to look at just the talents and uh, the new abilities. So here we are. We're heading this to... This place is filthy with corruption. I fear a long campaign awaits us. Heading to the Broken Shore. The Tomb of Sargeras behind us. Look out! Evasive maneuvers! Get out of here, champion! I'll find my own way! Oh, Shut guff your me. wounds, warriors! Another battle awaits! And here we are, we've got some Vrykul. Harvey didn't say they would be so short. The 
a toad seer is mad, but rarely wrong. Come, friend, more demons approach. Prove your valor. It's too far away. I'm out of range. I need to get closer. I'm out of range. I need to get closer. A Valkyr approaches. We must greet her with respect. Come, heroes. I serve Odin. Hardgrim! Ulrich! Odin has judged you worthy for his halls! Come with me to glory! Watch over me from above, my brothers, and save me a seat in the hall! The brute has joined the battle, little hero! Come and meet your fate before your place is taken! I'm out of range. My forces are legion. Your efforts are futile. Enough! I will break you myself! Well, will you look at that? At last! Ha <laughs> ha! This is the glorious death Harvey promised me! I say we kill the demon instead. Little hero, you have proven yourself a worthy ally. Will you stand with us, even though it could mean our death? Ha! With all of us together, we may yet be victorious. Either way, I'll not go down easily. Let us be about it, then! I will salute your courage in the halls of valor, or over this monster's corpse. Your pathetic resistance only delays the inevitable! All will die to the Legion!
Is that the best you can manage, weaklings? A few scratches? You will die like the insect you are! A father is sacrificed, but it is not yet your time. Glory to Odin. And here we are. This is the, uh, I believe this is the warrior class hall. So we'll take a look here. Welcome to the halls of valor, hero. Normally one must die to gain entrance, but times have changed. Fear not, mortal. You are not dead. It was directed to collect. I was directed to collect you before your demise by Odin himself. I will take you to Odin now. Follow me. Glory to you! On the behind you lies the Eye of Odin, which peers across all of Azeroth. This bay lies the forge, where the mightiest weapons of the Valajar are crafted by Helgar, the greatest smith in the halls. Across the bay lies the Arena of Glory, where warriors vie for supremacy in epic combat. Before us lies the Great Mead Hall, where drink and stories flow freely. Odin awaits ahead. I will go forth and announce you. Be respectful. I have foreseen the coming of a mighty champion to these shores. One who would slay countless foes and prove their valor time and again. One who would lead my armies to victory against the great darkness that seeks to devour this world. You have proven yourself the greatest living warrior on Azeroth. It is for this reason I have saved you. I name you Valajar. Bring glory to these halls on the wings of my Valkyr. What victories do you bring me? And here we are. Now, all here know who you are. It is time for armaments befitting my champion. Go now, my As the greatest champion. warrior in these halls, you require a great weapon to do both your will and mine. I have looked down on Azeroth and found artifacts worthy of your hands. I leave it to you to choose which artifact you wish to seek out and wield against the Legion. We will recover the others in time. Select an artifact weapon to pursue. Bring us tales of... So this is the screen you're going to see when you're going to choose what artifact weapons you're going to get. Now, you do have the option later on, I believe, I believe it's 103, you have the option to get a second one um, for, for an off spec, but as of right now, um, we're only going to worry about the prot. Uh, one right here, our shield. An ancient Vrykul king crafted a stolen scale of Noltharian, the earth water into a bulwark of immense power. His great shield now lies by his side, deep in a nearly forgotten tomb. Reclaim this shield, and you will reap not only an impenetrable guard, but...
but also a glimpse of the mighty fiery powers of the dragon aspect himself. Scale of the Earth Warder. And there, I'll leave that up for a few seconds. We'll take a look at it. 831 armor, 287 strength, 431 stamina, some crit and mastery. The equip, bo excuse me, the equip bonus grants the Neltharian's Fury ability, which unleashes fire from your shield and greatly increases its defensive properties. We'll, we'll get a, a look at that once we actually have the weapon. And then along with that, you'll get Scale Shard, which is your one-handed sword. Has crit and mastery as well, along with a decent amount of strength and stamina. So we'll go ahead and select our quest. My Valajar. I knew you would pick that one. Let us be about it. Remember, life is nothing without The greatest valor. warrior should wield the greatest weapons. Long ago, a great king, Magnar Icebreaker, wielded weapons crafted from the scale of the mightiest dragon in the land. He should be here, but he is not. Instead, he languishes in his tomb. His son, Hruthnir, is here. He will lead you to the tomb. If Magnar can be saved, do so. Either way, return with his weapons. May go now! Hruthnir waits at the Sky Launch to aid you! And again, as I stated before, I will be doing a ability and talent breakdown at the end of the video. Uh, that way, we'll get a look at the at the shield ability itself, because all of the artifacts come with their own their own ability that you can use. I believe they're usually on a minute cooldown. So, here's Fruthnir. I fight for Odin. Odin believes you are worthy to wield the armaments of the Black Worm. I am here for Magnar Icebreaker. Let us both be successful, eh? Find glory on the battlefield. Our journey will be a quick one. A single leap from Skyhold will take us to Azeroth. Follow me. So, we're gonna head to this island right out here. Near. A glorious landing! Are you ready to find Magna? I, this tomb is not far. The dead are rising. Something is not right.
only defeat. Come to me, my impish kin. We shall devour the power within. Ah, desecrators! We must slay these abominations. I'm out of here. You seem delirious. <laughs> Me soon, friend. I need to get closer. Why? A good fight. So Follow me. I will open the tomb. Uh, the guardians do not obey me. Seems we will have to do this the hard way. I'm out of range. These spirit winds are relentless. We cannot walk through. Just to let you know, for some of these, uh, you will need to use specific things in your kit to be able to progress further. It's too uh, far away. Dumb, so I didn't realize it to interrupt mm, that person. We should be to able to leap over this. And apparently he wants me to leap over this instead of killing this. So we'll get to that in just a second. madness infects his guards. They do not recognize me. Watch out! That door is sealed with lightning. We must find a way through. Curse Helia! Curse her cowardly followers! I'll not rest until she is dead! Just in case you couldn't see there, uh, to break through this door, uh, you heroic throw onto each of the Here we the are. Storms there. Magnar's chamber. Champion, we must save him. I will find the words to spur him on to the halls of valor, but he may resist the truth and turn his guards against me. Say the word, and we shall begin. I am Valajar. Let us cross blades sometime. Father, it's me, your son. 
Odin sent me here to... You are not my son. He is in the halls of valor, called by Odin before his time. Be gone from here, trespassers. It it's is me. Away. I fell before you in the battle of the past. Out of range. We were betrayed. My son died before my very eyes. I failed to protect him. You will not. I fell in battle. We all fell. None survived the onslaught. Not even you. Lies! Can you not see my faithful soldiers? You died in glorious battle. The halls of valor await. Come with me, father. Enough of this. Gods, punish these outsiders for their insolence. Get closer. I need to target something first. It's too far away. I'm out of range. Why do you torment me so? I am the son of Magna the Great, champion of the Barajar. Father, look at me! I am Hruthnir! I am your son! Liar! You will die for saying his name! I shall send you to Helheim, my son! It's too far away. I'm out of range. It's too far away. I am, as you will be. Come, let us go to the Halls of Valor. This mortal warrior will find the revenge you crave. I see now. My weapons are yours, warrior. May they bring you glory as you strike down Helia's minions. His weapons are yours now, champion. There is nothing left for us here. Let us feast in the halls of valor, together.
and there you have it that is the protection warrior artifact uh, scenario if that's what you want to call it the quest line uh, they're not too long they take somewhere between 15 and 30 minutes depending on on your level of expertise I don't really know all the classes that well I know some of them better than others so uh, what we'll do now is we'll head back and we'll take a look at the weapons as they appear on my character model and then I'll show you the abilities and the talent trees And here we are. Again, this is Skyhold. This will be the Warrior class hall. Uh, if you are a Warrior player as a main or as an alt, uh, you'll get very used to this place. You'll be here a lot. Um, I'm not quite sure how you get here. Uh, I thought there was an ability you could click. So maybe after we turn this quest in, he's going to give us that. So let's go take a look. Have you brought valor to these halls? A great deed was done today. I have gained a mighty warrior. And you have a powerful artifact. Bring us tales of victory. The forging. Your new weapon is very powerful, but my smiths have mastered crafting over thousands of years. Speak to Master Smith Helgar and see what improvements can be made. Remember, life is nothing without valor. So, we'll head over there. Uh, that is something I did fail to mention. When you do your, when you finish your artifact quest chain, you'll get kind of an introduction to everything in your class order hall, almost uh, as you did in your garrisons back in Warlords of Draenor. Uh, you, it's not as in depth or as complicated as it was uh, to get a garrison up and running and and to the top shape, but uh, you will. You will have to do some things in here, as you can see across the top. This is a new little feature that they added um, to show your order resources. They do the exact same things as garrison resources. You get them from questing, and at level 110, you'll get them from world quests. Here we are. That artifact is amazing. I can already see the potential we can unlock. This forge has been working for longer than your race has existed. We might know a few things. Your weapon is powerful. It will take my personal forge in order to work it. We can work the artifact to provide various improvements, provided you have enough experience with it. Let's give it a try, shall we? Use the forge of Odin. Here's the forge right here. This is where you will upgrade your artifact weapon. As you can see, this is what it will look like. This is your artifact weapon UI. Up here at the top, we have some artifact slots. Uh, you'll get artifact slot uh, enhancements as you quest. And at level 110, you'll start to get them in dungeons, mythic dungeons, heroics, etc., raids. Uh, and they usually fill up this slot right here. But uh, these are really good augments. They'll usually add... Uh, one to one of these abilities or sometimes two and even three so here here's our ability that we gained uh, Neltharian's Fury on a 45 second cooldown you enter a defensive posture critically blocking all attacks while a stream of shadow flame erupts from the scale of the earth water dealing 37,320 shadow flame over three seconds to every enemy in front of you you can use defensive abilities while this is active We'll uh, take a look at that ability uh, shortly. And then we lead into this one. This is the tutorial, I guess, Strength of the Earth Aspect. One rank increases damage dealt by Devastate by 15%, uh, and it costs 100 artifact power. You'll notice uh, that we have 100 artifact power we're given uh, to do this tutorial. So we'll go ahead and click that. You can see your artifact knowledge here. 
and we'll talk about that in a second, but you can see everything just opened up. So you can kind of pick and choose where you want to go. As you level, uh, you usually can get to one of these abil major abilities with the Golden Dragon Portrait around, and then at 110, you'll be quest doing world quests and dungeons, etc., to gain as much as you can to kind of max this out and become as strong as possible. Now, we'll take a look at these different uh, areas you can go into. We have Rage of the Fallen. Increases damage dealt by revenge by 3%. Uh, and these are both 300 artifact power. Uh, Shatter the Bones. Uh, increases the critical strike chance of shield slam by 5% during shield block. There's three ranks for both of those. Uh, Vrykul Shield Training. There's three ranks in that as well. Increases armor by 3% for each rank. Will to Survive. Last Stand increases health by an additional 10%. There's three ranks. Uh, toughness. Passive increases stamina by 3%, 3 ranks. Rumbling Voice, 1 rank, increases the duration and radius of Demoralizing Shout by 50%. And Might of the Vrykul, this is a 1 uh, rank passive. Shield Slam and Revenge generate 50% increased rage during Demoralizing Shout. Doesn't seem too great, but uh, I think in raids and in heroics and even in the Mythic Plus dungeons, you'll, you'll notice these things really come in handy. Let's move on. Wall of Steel, one rank. When you target an ally with Intercept, it redirects two additional attacks, and the damage you take from those attacks is reduced by 20%. That's a really good ability. I like that one. And we have Leaping Giants, three ranks. Reduces the cooldown of Heroic Leap by two seconds. And you'll notice uh, when we talk about talents, this is going to be uh, a really useful one, especially for getting around during world quests and running those Mythic Plus where you have a timer. Uh, and Scales of the Earth, a one rank passive. Uh, critically blocks have a chance, cri excuse me, critical blocks have a chance to cause an eruption from Scale of the Earth Warder, increasing your armor by 30% and dealing 15,726 physical damage to all enemies in front of you. So that's, uh, it basically channels a half of, uh, of this ability here, which is really nice. Uh, and it also increases your armor by 30%, so that's really good. Uh, here we are, Intolerance, three ranks, increases maximum rage by 10%. Thunder Crash, increases the damage dealt by Thunderclap by 10%. Reflective Plating, uh, one rank. Spell Reflect now reflects an unlimited number of spells during its duration, and generates 10 rage each time it reflects a spell. That's pretty incredible. Uh, Dragon Skin, three ranks. Increases the total damage ignored by Ignore Pain by 2%. That's, uh, that's, that's really good. Now you'll see why when we talk about Ignore Pain. Uh, and Dragon Scales, one rank passive. Blocking an attack has a chance to increase your total damage ignored by your next Ignore Pain by 60% and generate 30 rage. That's, that's an incredible one as well. Especially if you, I believe if you're uh, a Mythic Plus or a raid tank, this is going to be the one you're going to go for first. Although I think a lot of the hardcore raiders are going to have most of uh, one side filled out and most of the other side filled out. I think this is the one you're probably going to want to go for. But I could be wrong. You, uh, any warriors can tell me uh, if I'm wrong there. So now that we've taken a look at our uh, different passives and ability that we get, up here in the left corner you can see there's a one. Uh, total ranks purchased one, and this, depending on how many ranks you've purchased, uh, will give you kind of a passive increase. You can see here my stamina is increased by 0.75% for every trait purchased, up to 34 traits, uh, and my damage dealt is increased by 1% for every trait purchased, up to 34 traits. So uh, you'll have what is that? Roughly 34% or 35% for each. Um, this, obviously, the stamina will be a little bit less, but that's a nice little passive. That's a nice little passive bonus that it gives you. Um, so, with that done, we'll talk to Master Smith Helgargan. Your weapon has untold potential. You will need to get more acquainted with it first, and we can work on it some more. Are you worthy of it is time days? to begin the war in Azeroth.
we have prepared a tool for you to direct your warriors and your own operations from here. It is called the Eye of Odin. If you will follow me, I will take you to it and someone that will help you use it. Strike to be worthy. Talk to Skyseer and Brent. He says, It has been a while since I've talked to the living. I hope you don't mind if I assist you. Being slain in combat has given me a calmer outlook in this emergency than other warriors. To glory! Thus begins the war. The Legion thinks you are dead. It will be quite the surprise when you punish them for that assumption. This allows us to see all across the Broken Isles and assign warriors to various tasks. Once you've taken a look... You should choose your first area of operation. I've already picked out the best spots. And select your order's first assault point. Set the quest. Uh, we're not going to go into this uh, too much, but we'll take a look here. And here you are. This is the UI for where you will pick your assault point, your beginning quest chain. Um, each and every one of these areas is available to you, except for Suramar, of course, Suramar being uh, these, this major area here in the middle. This is mostly uh, for flavor uh, questing at 110 and to do some uh, major uh, world quests. So, uh, you have the choice between Stormheim, High Mountain, Valshara, and Asuna. I won't go too in-depth in this video into the different areas. You'll have an opportunity to kind of uh, pick, pick and choose which one you want to do on each different character. It does not matter which one you go to. Um, each, of, each of these zones scale as you scale. So if you go to Azuna at 100 uh, and then end up in Valshara at 104 or 103, uh, this level will go up with you. So you'll be 103 and everything in Valshara will be 103. If you ding 104 here, these all be 104, et cetera, et cetera, throughout all the zones. So it doesn't matter which side you start on uh, and how you do them. Wherever you end up, everything will be 110. So we will pick one just to further the quest line. So we'll say Stormheim, which is kind of the, the zone uh, that we're in right now. Speed it out. An excellent choice. As more opportunities arise, I will bring them to your attention. Good luck in battle. Bah. And now it's going to tell me to travel to Dalaran. Uh, before I leave, I will mention a few things about the Class Order Hall. Uh, in the Class Order Hall, you will have several uh, other things than what we've gone over here. One is the ability to kind of do garrison missions, uh, which you'll have... Uh, notification here which you can click and you can check your garrison missions or your class order missions uh, it's not as complicated as it as it was in, or it's not as involved as it was and you can also give yourself a bodyguard I think each of the classes has two bodyguards that you can take with you uh, one excuse me there's there are two that you can choose from you can have one with you at a time um, so you can kind of have somebody out there with you uh, helping you do a little bit of damage because when you're playing as a healer or as prot sometimes it's a little difficult to get uh, as much damage as you really like off and it's nice to have that bodyguard out there with you so we're I going serve to a greater power. click this and travel to Dalaran Unfortunately, it's a little laggy, and you couldn't see me falling from the sky like a thunderbolt, but um, nonetheless, uh, that's exactly what it is. It, it is, right now on the beta, extraordinarily laggy, and it being on the weekend is very difficult to get things done. This is how you get back to your class order hall, as you can see here. You would walk into this and be sent back to your order hall 
to make it a little bit easier for you, so you're not having seven hearthstones, uh, as you might want to go back to your garrison at some point, or uh, you'll have your ringed dollar on if you have 250,000. So we'll head over here, um, and I'll do a dollar on tour in another video, so you can kind of see the minor changes uh, that have taken place, which is mostly there in the center. Uh, we'll head up here. I believe we're talking to a cat car. No, we're talking to Sky Admiral Rogers. It's an honor. What's the situation? Well met. I have come on behalf of King Anduin Rin. My crew is preparing for a special mission, and the king would like you to join us. Please review this official summons, and if you are satisfied, return with me to Stormwind Harbor. Rogers hands you a sealed envelope. Use the royal summons and follow Sky Admiral Rogers through the portal to Stormwind Harbor. Show them what we're made of. Champion, the Skyfire is about to embark on an urgent mission. I must ask that you accompany them. Report to Stormwind Harbor as soon as possible. They are under strict orders not to leave without you. Follow me. The Skyfire is just about ready to leave. I trust that your valor and discretion will serve the Alliance well, as it always has. With honor, King Anduin Rin. And here we are on the Skyfire. Victory in battle is the Thank you only for your cooperation. path to peace. You must be wondering what all of this is about. Please walk with me. I have some final preparations to make before we set sail, and I know that your presence will inspire the crew. Do I'll your duty, it. soldier. And we're actually going to bail Stormheim is home to one of the pillars of creation, the Aegis of Agrimar. Vrykul legends speak of a trial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To conquer this trial is to prove one's worth. So you guys will get that. Uh, you guys will get that story as she, just, as she continues. Impressive, to talk. aren't they? The new guns could bag a wyvern at full speed from 300 meters. Go ahead. I think she's going to keep look. talking over me. There we go. So anyway, I don't want to ruin too much of the story. I will be doing a full playthrough of the zones in the beta, but I don't want to do that here for those of you uh, that want to kind of experience on your own. I just want to give you a good look a little bit ahead of time before the pre-legion event is out and you get a chance to set these things up all on your own. So we'll head over here. Um, so we can get a look at some of the abilities. Maybe a little spot where we'll be by ourselves. Let's see. Maybe I can get up here. Well, I'll have to generate rage. So, no. We'll go down here. And die in the process. Because apparently you can't fly right there. So, right over here. All these people are checking out their abilities as well. And, here we are. This gentleman wants to show us his abilities. There we are. So let's take out our sword and shield. And there it is. This sword, scale shard, as you can see, item level 750. These will level up with you. Uh, you probably read it already, but I've gone through the beta all the way to 110 uh, before. When, I when the beta first came out, I had an invite. So, uh, this will level up with you. You'll get artifact power that you can put in, and also you'll get item levels that get added through what we talked about before, which if you shift-click on the item itself, uh, and it doesn't matter if you click on the sword or the shield, it will bring up this interface that we saw earlier. You cannot add any artifact power through here. You have to go to your class order hall, but you can switch out the artifacts. Now, the artifacts will have uh, item levels on them as well, as well as uh, bonuses to these different uh, passives. None of the golden passives, but some of these passives. Although, this one this one here might add to uh, this at some point, but these will all add item levels and, and passive bonuses to these. So, as you can see, uh, it's not that special of a sword. I'm a little bit disappointed. Uh, maybe some of the modifications you can make to it later on will make it look a little better. Um, but I'm not too impressed. I'm not too impressed with that sword. It's, it's a little plain. It looks like something you would get out of a random heroic. Uh, the shield itself, I'm not too impressed with either. But it might look better later on. I think they could have done a better job. I honestly do. Uh, it, it, it's, it's neat. 
but I think there are random transmogs that are better than this, and I think a lot of people, a lot of prop warriors at least, are going to transmog these until they get uh, until they get those appearance changes. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to open up our talents first and take a look at those. So here we are in protection, and here's the new talent trees. Um, in the level 15 tier, we have Shockwave. Uh, for for those, I'm not going to to read some of the ones that really haven't changed uh, the descriptions of them because I'll leave them up for a second, and you can pause and, and read it if you really want to. But for most people watching this, I think you already know what a lot of these abilities do. Uh, Shockwave is pretty much the exact same thing. Stormbolt is the exact same thing. It's just moved up a few tiers. And Warbringer intercept passive. Your intercept now deals 7,533 damage to all en enemies within five yards of the target. So when you're trying to, uh, you're r jumping in on someone or you're trying to save someone, uh, you'll actually deal damage and stun everyone in five yards for 1.5 seconds. Uh, and, and in level 30, we have Impending Victory. That one I think everyone knows. It's just a replacement for uh, Victory Rush, and you can use it. It's just on a cooldown, and it costs Rage at this point. It's very useful, for, as you can see. I, I, it takes a lot of damage sometimes, so it, it's good to have uh, that little bit of extra heal now that they've gotten rid of Enraged Regen. Inspiring Presence, you inspire your allies within 60 yards causing them to be healed for 30% of all damage they deal. That's an neat passive. That would be really good in raids, I think. And we have Safeguard and Intercepting a Friendly Target now also causes 20% of their damage taken to transfer to you for 6 seconds. So that's a good one. That's another, uh, maybe a heroic ability that you can switch to. Uh, in the 45 tier, we have Renewed Fury. Ignore Pain also enrages you, increasing all damage you deal by 10% for 6 seconds. Ultimatum, your shield slam critical strikes cause the next focused rage to cost no rage. And then we have Avatar, which is the exact same thing. Uh, that's my favorite in this particular tier, but I'm, I'm lazy and I just like to have these abilities to hit when I think I'm about to die or I want to deal a lot of damage. So in the 60 tier, we have Warlord's Challenge. While Berserker Rage is active, you may use Taunt with no cooldown, and taunted enemies move 50% faster towards you. That, I think, will be really neat for the Mythic Plus dungeons. When it's uh, when you have something with, like, you deal less aggro, it'll be nice to have that taunt uh, on a lower cooldown and being able to pull those enemies faster towards you so you can start building up AoE threat. Uh, Bounding Stride passive reduces the cooldown on Heroic Leap by 15 seconds, and Heroic Leap now also increases your run speed by 70% for 3 seconds. This is going to be really good. I think a lot of people are going to like this one uh, for leveling. And it's really nice to get around and uh, to get around fast. Uh, Crackling Thunder, another passive, increases the radius of Thunderclap by 100%. And in the 75 tier, we have Best Serve Cold. Revenge generates uh, two additional rage for each target that it hits. And we'll, we'll talk about revenge because revenge has changed a little bit. Uh, never Surrender. Ignore Pain will ignore up to 100% more damage based on the amount of missing health you have. Uh, An Indomitable increases your maximum health by 25% and the maximum effect of Ignore Pain by 25%. Uh, I, I like this one, but Indomitable is really nice because I don't have to really uh, worry about any variables. This one's just always there. Uh, and then we have the 90 tier. Oh, hi. And we have the 90 tier, Vengeance. Ignore Pain reduces the rage cost of your next Focused Rage by 50%, and Focused Rage reduces the rage cost of your next Ignore Pain by 50%. So that's kind of a back and forth deal. That's, a re that's actually a really good one. I, di I didn't take that one for the purposes of this video, though. Uh, into the fray, you gain 3% haste for each enemy within 10 yards, up to 5 enemies. So you can have 15% at all times. This would be uh, neat if you were doing, you were a little overgeared and you were running Mythic Plus, I think, or you just had an overgeared healer. Uh, and then we have Booming Voice. Demoralizing Shout also generates 50 rage and increases damage you deal to affected targets by 20%. That's neat. Uh, another neat passive that you can use uh, in Mythic Plus and Heroics. And then we have uh, the 100 tier Anger Management. Every 10 rage you spend reduces the remaining cooldown on Battlecry, Last Stand, and Shield Wall by one second. 
Uh, that'll be really good uh, because, I, as you can see, you can generate a lot of rage and dump it really quickly. So you can have shield ball off cooldown a lot. Uh, it's a four minute cooldown still, but um, you can really break that down really quickly. Now, heavy repercussions, shield slam extends the duration of shield block by 1.5 seconds, and shield block increases the damage of shield slam by an additional 30%. That's a good one. I like that. That's, that's, that's a nice little passive. But my favorite, of course, is going to be Ravager. Uh, we have a one minute, it's on a one minute cooldown, and it throws a whirling weapon at the target location that inflicts 16,352 damage to all enemies within eight yards over 6.9 seconds. Of course, these numbers uh, are just in the beta, uh, and they're not taking into account your weapon damage and stuff. So uh, these things tend to change, but it, this one also increases your parry chance by 30% for 12 seconds, which I believe is the same as on live. So, um, you can see the choices that I made. These are not indicative of the best choices. These are just ones that I picked uh, for this particular video, knowing uh, what we would probably have to do. So, we'll take a look here. Uh, heroic throw is the exact same. Heroic leap is the exact same. We have shield ball reduces all damage you take by 40% for 8 seconds. Now on a 4 minute cooldown. Last stand is the same. Uh, 3 minute cooldown and increases the current and maximum health by 30% for 15 seconds. Uh, demoralizing shout. A 1.5 minute cooldown demoralizes all enemies within 10 yards. Reducing the damage they do to you by 20% for 8 seconds. And this is a, this is a big change. Battle cry. Uh, now it's on a one minute cooldown, but it lets loose a battle cry, granting 100% crit strike chance for five seconds. So we no longer have our buff abilities, as you can as you can see by looking at our bar here. This is everything that we have. Uh, so we don't have any more buffs, but this is a nice little uh, boost of damage there for when you're leveling as prot, and or you need a, a large threat gen really quickly. And Berserker Rage, the same thing. Here's an interesting one, is Intercept. They've actually taken Intervene and Charge and mixed them together so that you can use them to charge into uh, a fight and then maybe charge back out to your uh, Red Pally who blew his wings too early and generated a little bit too much threat. So, these have 15 second recharges and it generates 20 rage every time you use it. I believe it generates 20 rage uh, whether you're charging to an ally or to an enemy. Um, and you always have two charges, so that's that's really neat. Taunt is the same, I'm not going to talk about that. Thunderclap's the same, or I'm not really going to talk about that one. Shield Slam works a little different. It's the same thing, same type of cooldown, but it's affected by a few different things, and we'll talk about them in a second. Uh, Devastate is the same, 30% chance to reset the remaining cooldown on Shield Slam, so this is your spam button right here. Revenge is a little bit different. It's now a cleave, so this is your big threat gen along with thunderclap this will help you to keep a little bit of aoe threat in those mythic plus dungeons where it's it's kind of difficult to generate uh, as much threat as possible and pummel and spell reflect are the same uh, then we have focused rage this is a this is a new ability uh, focus your rage on the next shield slam increasing its damage by 50 percent stacking three times and that is unaffected by the global cooldown it's on a 1.4 second cooldown uh, and costs 30 rage so you can build this up and let out a huge shield slam if you want to generate a really big hit um, shield slam normally hits for uh, on some of those mobs we're hitting for somewhere between 25 and 30 thousand so uh, you can really get a good good big hit on that especially in, in PvP if you're a PvP -er. uh, and this is this is our kind of our bread and butter we'll talk about that in a sec uh, shield block exact same thing uh, but it increases shield slam damage by 30 percent while it's active so once you pop this uh, you want to use your shield slam to get a little bit of extra threat and a little bit of extra damage pardon me this is our bread and butter though uh, for prop warriors i'm not a prop warrior i'm not too familiar with them but uh, for you prop warriors out there ignore pain it's a one second cooldown that costs 40 rage uh, fight through the pain ignoring 90 percent of the next 109,000 damage uh, you take from any source. So that includes uh, spell casts and 
melee attacks and any abilities. So this, and I believe this stacks. I believe this stacks. Um, as you saw in that fight against the final boss of the scenario, uh, I got really low on health and I was around 20% keep spamming this ability, uh, building up rage and spamming that. And you can kind of keep yourself alive forever, a, a lot like the Blood Death Knight uh, can do. So that's that. You know, that's 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 a great uh, addition, I think, for for the prop alleys. I think that, I believe that replaced something. I'm not particularly sure what, um, but I, I I like it a lot. It's it's a very nice ability. So what we'll do is, uh, before we sign off here, I'm going to show you some of the new animations that we have. Uh, I believe Spell Reflect is the same. Yeah, nothing too special. Berserker Rage. A little bit of blood coming out of the bottom there. Nothing too spectacular, but it's pretty neat. Battle Cry. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, demoralizing Shout. Not too cool. <laughs> it's something. When you hit last stand, you can see this nice little blue hue that goes around our character model. I like that. Kind of gives me an idea uh, as a person who likes to play healers on alts when my my tank is feeling a little uncomfortable with the situation. Pretty neat. Uh, Shield Wall also got a nice little buff here. And I believe this stays around you until... Yep, cooldown's gone. That's pretty neat. That's, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, Ravager is pretty much the same. Nothing's really changed about that one. Pretty neat, though. Still pretty cool. Warriors do have some of the better animations in the game now. And Shockwave. Not really changed. Uh, Avatar. Pretty neat. I, I mean, I, I don't think it was like this on live. You'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I like that. I like that a lot. Kind of look like a Sentinel. That's really neat. That's really neat. Okay, now we'll hit Neltharian's Fury. And that's your artifact weapon uh, ability. I'm not sure. I I'm not sure they took a lot of time to work on prop warriors specifically, especially since uh, you're always going to have your face in 57 mobs and not going to see it too much. I think that was their I think that was their their thinking behind this, their their reasoning behind that animation. But uh, I'm not too impressed. I'm not too impressed. Oh, we'll take a, a look at Heroic Leap here. It's a little bit different. Uh, it looks really, really cool. Yeah. Now it actually looks like a Heroic Leap and not like you're just standing still. Uh, Revenge is your cleave, as you can see. Uh, uh, Thunderclap. Really neat. Really neat. And I don't think Charge has really changed. Oh, yeah, it does. I'll try and get a view from the front. Just try one more on that so you can get an idea. It kind of shield bash as you go in. It's back. Three, two, one. There you go. Pretty neat. That's a good. Uh, that's a good little animation change. Uh, but really, nothing else has changed. I don't believe devastate. Devastate you. No, I'll do the same little spin attack. So, uh, that's just about everything, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, just wanted to kind of give you an idea of the Prot Warrior as it is live now, or excuse me, as it is on the beta now. Uh, again, this is beta. It may not make it to live. Some of these abilities may change. Some of the numbers may change. Uh, so take everything you hear here with a grain of salt. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, uh, comment if you've got anything you'd like to see. Uh, for this particular prop warrior, if I have time, I might make another video, uh, and I may even level them up if enough people are interested. Uh, so again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, and have yourselves a 